tree. Uh, in this video, uh, uh, I'm going to talk about what are the things to do before getting started with the EKS. Uh, there are quite a few steps uh, you need to set up, CLIs and things of that nature. I'll walk you through each of those steps. Uh, so you're ready to actually work with the EKS. Um, so what is EKS? EKS is Managed uh, Kubernetes Service Offering uh, from uh, AWS. Uh, Azure has similar version uh, it's called EKS. Uh, so let's get started. So the first thing I would highly recommend is uh, some kind of package manager, like a home group for uh, uh, Mac, uh, apt get, snap, uh, for Linux. Uh, so for uh, Windows, the most popular one is uh, uh, this one uh, right here, uh, Chocolatey. Uh, the reason I recommend this is once you have this, uh, it's easy to install and uninstall things. Uh, so I just installed right before this uh, video, but uh, I'm going to show you the steps of how to install this. It's a very two-step process. Uh, so go to your start, go to uh, go to your PowerShell, uh, right-click, run as administrator. So you basically copy this command here to get your execution uh, policy. So I, my, mine is actually originally set up as this. So I had to run uh, this, you can run either this or this, uh, and then you copy this one here and run it, and that's it. So you have chocolate run the package manager running, uh, which makes it, uh, which makes the next steps much easier. Um, so now you have this. Uh, next step is installing uh, kubectl, uh, kubectl. Uh, people call it so many different names. So. Uh, Whichever one it is, I call it keep curl sometimes, keep CDL sometimes. So you need this to interact with uh, uh, not only EKS in general with uh, uh, Kubernetes, right? So you go to this URL. I'm going to share all these URLs in the description uh, uh, below. Uh, you go to this one, uh, Kubernetes website. Uh, so mine, I'm, I'm working on Windows. Uh, so I'm going to show you steps for uh, Windows, but you can see there, you know, what to do if you are running on Linux, uh, if you are uh, doing, uh, uh, if you want to do install the Homebrew, Mac OS. So there are instructions for everything. Uh, so for Windows, I'm using uh, this one here. So all I have to do is basically copy this command here. Um, and run it. So now I have kubectl installed. As easy as that, guys. Uh, so next thing you don't. You don't necessarily need Minikube, but I would highly recommend installing this anyways because Minikube runs a mini version of Kubernetes on your local machine. I think it's very useful for you to play with, uh, you know, to learn uh, those kind of things. So for that reason, this is an optional step, but for, I recommend you to actually install this so you can play locally. Uh, so, so go to this link or to install Minikube. Uh, do the same thing. Basically, you run the system info to get information about your system. Uh, it's going to gather some information and show it to you. So basically, you come here to Hyper-V requirement and see if you are compatible. Uh, or you already have a um, hypervisor installed. In my, in my case, I don't have it, uh, but it's compatible. Uh, so the so next step you do is basically you install Hyper-V on the virtual box. Uh, I installed VirtualBox before for something else, so I already have VirtualBox running. Uh, if not, you had to do it. Uh, so next one is basically to install Minikube. All you do is copy this command here. Uh, 
So this install Minikube. Um, so now you have a, a package manager. Uh, you have a, a Cube CDR, Cube Call. You have a, a one of one of these uh, either virtual box uh, or Hyper V. Uh, so now we're gonna do. You most of you already have a AWS CLI. If you don't. Uh, you need that as well. That would be this here. For Windows, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, all you do is you, you download this. Takes a minute or two, uh, pretty quick. Okay, now we have AWS CLA as well. Uh, the final thing is basically to actually install uh, EKS CLA. Uh, you need this to actually talk to EKS cluster. Uh, this is also very simple with the package manager. Uh, you run this. Uh, and uh, you have, uh, well, I installed this before, I guess. I uh, so it's a, if you if you don't have it, it's going to install it. Or if you can uh, to upgrade it, you can actually run this command here. Uh, so that's pretty. That those are the basic things you need uh, before you get started with the uh, EKS. So I have some kind of package manager. You have a, a either a virtual box or hyper 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 V, uh, uh, and then the mini cube is optional, but I recommend that you have it. Uh, AWS CLI and the ETS CLI. Now we have now we have those. What I want to do is basically just verify uh, you know everything is okay. Uh, basically, you go here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run a couple of these commands just to make sure we have everything running. Uh, all right, looks like we're good there with AWS CLI. Uh, what about EKS CLI? Uh, okay, looks like we're good there. Uh, let's check. Uh, let's check Minikube. Uh, actually, before checking Minikube. Uh, let's check. Keep CDL, keep curl. Okay, uh, we're good there. Uh, with the mini cube, also you can actually do mini cube start. It gives you when you start a mini cube. It gives you a bunch of information. Uh, what the version? Uh, what is the driver that you're using? Um, it takes. It, this takes usually like uh, first time. Right? Takes. I would say three, four minutes, maybe five minutes, because uh, it's trying to do a bunch of uh, stuff. Uh, once it's uh, up and running, uh, you have you basically have a mini version of Kubernetes uh, on your machine is pretty cool. You don't have to pay. Um, all right. So, so now this is uh, running. You can actually check. Uh, Check if it's running or not. You can, you know, you can mini cube status. It tells you, hey, uh, you know, host is running, keep CTL running, all the stuff. I gives you all the information. So this is basic verification to make sure uh, you have everything set up uh, to work with the uh, 
he cares. Um, this is all. These are the these are the main components uh, you need before getting started with the EKS guys. So in the next video, we'll go a little deeper on uh, how what to do with EKS and how to create clusters and how to work with those kind of things. That's it, guys. Thank you very much.